point it this close. I can feel her. She's gonna kill us all, isn't she? She's probably just down the coast. Oh my God, what if she finds out where I am? We have to run. This entire family has to disappear. So Pilar, congratulate us. We're celebrating. Celebrating what? We have a date for our vow renewal ceremony. We are going to get married again. I can't let this happen, Mama. Maybe the Marie commits his life to win. It'll kill me. Lots of things can kill you, Mia. Sam, I got your message. What is it that you wanted to speak to us about? I have to question you about your son, Vincent. Darling, this hospital's a little hot spot tonight. What has that cold-blooded little Vicky done to Ivy? Get in there! Where is a coffin when you need one? This is what you get for messing with me. You are the one who tried to separate me from Aunt Esme, just like all of the others. Like all of the others, I killed you. <laughs> There's no other papers in the office? An address book, perhaps? No, senor. This is the last of them. Papers are useless. There must be something here. An address. The name of a town. Something to help us find Pilar. We'll find him, senora. But I can't wait. I want to find her. We are so close. From now on, no mistakes. I not only want to kill Pilar, I want to make her suffer the way she made me suffer. When we find out where she is, I want to know everything about her life in the United States so that I could tear it down in the most excruciating way possible. I am so excited. I mean, renewing our vows, it's going to finalize our relationship once and for all. It is going to stop all the whispers and the rumors. Nobody talks about us. Are you kidding me? Heads always turn when I walk into the country club. That's because you're beautiful, Gwen. Oh, thank you so much. But that is not why. I'm excited, Ethan. You know, I can't wait to renew our vows. It's going to announce to everyone that we're back. We're a team for life. Mama. Look, I can't let that happen. I mean, if, if they renew their vows, and I'm never going to have a chance to be with Ethan. Why not? Um, because Ethan said that even if Teresa comes back from the dead, he will never break things off with Gwen if he renews those vows. Why would Ethan talk to you about such things? You're Gertrude, the nanny. We've had many close talks, Mama. He's, he's drawn to me. Teresa, what are you doing? That's dangerous. I can't help it. I mean, he, he already thinks of me as a friend. You know, and we got to talking, and oh, I started asking him questions, and he loves me, Mama. He said he's he's barely getting by, but if he renews these vows with Gwen, that's it. He's a lawyer, you know? Everything's black or white with him, so if he vows to love, honor, and cherish Gwen for the rest of his life, that's exactly what he's going to do, even if I do rise from the grave. How am I supposed to live without him? I don't know why you keep her around. Mm. It's long past time for a nursing home. Be kind, be kind. In, in fact, I, I kind of like having her around. Reminds me of what I almost lost. Well, aren't you just sweet? Mm. I don't know why people joke about getting older because Ethan and I, well, we made love all night long and he didn't even need his little blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to live without him? i
So we have a lot of planning to do. I think we should start with the vows. Do you want to do traditional vows? Maybe we should write our own. Oh, you choose. Okay, then I. I mean, I think we should write our own. And I have this wonderful book of of love poetry. I think that there would maybe be something good in there. Nothing too mushy. Okay, let's just keep it dignified. We're still married, remember? Will you let me just enjoy this just for a minute? Oh, this has got to stop. I've got to tell him that I'm alive right now. No, you can't. Come on, Mama. Look at this. This is torturing me. I mean, I guess all those years I was just kidding myself when I said that I'm the only woman that Ethan loves because the truth is he actually loved one before I came into the picture. And I know it's not the kind of love that we have. I'm gonna sit by and watch it turn into something more meaningful. Well, that's impossible. That's it, Mama. I will not spend the rest of my life as Gertrude and Nanny. No way. Oh, Sam, what? Uh, why do you have to bring up such a tragic subject? Uh, uh, Vincent is dead. We both saw his body fall off the cliff. We never found the dead body, did we? What, what are you getting at? Sheridan is in that cubicle. And even though she's been through hell, she seems to be making sense. She swears that the person who drugged her, put her in the barrel, and pushed her over Niagara Falls was Vincent. Well, she's most probably losing her grip on reality again. I mean, how could Vincent be alive? She's adamant, Julian. In fact, she said that Vincent broke into her cottage and overpowered her. Oh, my goodness, you mean that was a miracle? It was a miracle. Our son, Julian. What do you mean? Our, our son might be alive. Our, wait, wait, a baby boy? A baby boy. <laughs> it's all over for us. No, don't say that. Don't say that. We have to protect him. <laughs> oh, the police are involved now. Can we get back to the questioning, please? Oh. Oh, oh, Sam. I'm so sorry. I just... It's just I thought hope was dead. Yes. You can't... You cannot give us this hope again. I mean, you have to be sure. It would be just far too cruel to lose him all over again. He wasn't exactly your golden boy, was he? Oh, but we loved him. No matter what he did. Including rape, arson, serial murder. Now, Louise, every family has a black sheep in it. <laughs> but what I don't understand is, is how he could be alive because nobody could survive a fall from that cliff. And you, you found his blood on the rocks. So, no. It's impossible. Oh, that's kind of strange coming from you, isn't it, Eve? And why is that? What about the reports filed here at the hospital that you were having delusions? that you swore that your son Vincent was still alive. Oh, Sam, that was before. That was when I had slid back into alcohol and drugs in grief. Uh, but now I, I have pulled myself back together again. Mm -hmm. So are you sure you know nothing about your son Vincent reappearing here in Harmony? No, nothing. Right, Julia? Yes, right, Eve. You don't mind putting it down on tape, do you? I'm going to ask you an official question, and I want a straight answer, in case it's needed in the future for evidence. <clears throat> this is Chief Bennett, and I'm questioning Julian Crane and Eve Russell. Did either of you have any idea that your supposedly dead son, Vincent, was still alive? Than you were alive. Oh, it's gonna be so much easier with the chainsaw. Now, how did Vicky get Ivy in such a state? Is she dead? Oh, drugs. Clever. 
What a sweet-faced little murderer, isn't she, baby? Nothing! Just publishers' invoices and taxes. Same here. But there must be something here that will lead us to be loved. Too bad we killed Carmelita before we got it out of her. Her apartment. She lived over the store, upstairs. Excellent. Get up there and bring me every personal paper she has. Uh, photos, uh, scrapbooks, everything. Maybe there will be a trace of Pilar up there. You're a genius, senora. No. It's just my overwhelming need for revenge brings out the best in me. Soon, Pilar. Soon. You are so close. I can almost smell you on the breeze. Look, this is your ceremony, too. You know, I want to do what you want. I was kind of thinking it would be fun to invite some of your fraternity brothers. Oh, Let's not. I, I would hate for your special night to turn into a drunken extreme frisbee tournament, Gwen. Right. Yeah. Look, I just want you to be happy. That's all I've ever wanted. So whatever you choose, I'm sure I'll be fine with it, really. Thank you. And Ethan, I know that we're already married, but this is going to be a fresh start for both of us. From now on, nothing can stand in our way. All right. Well, here's to riding off in the sunset together. Mm. We can ride off into the sunset with her, but I am the woman you love. Shh, Nisa. Mama, what if after everything that I have been through, I have to watch them live their lives together? <sighs> the children are coming this weekend. Oh, little Ethan and Jane and their families. You know, maybe, maybe we should ditch Teresa, though. You know, uh, you know how much the kids hate having to waste time with oh, her. Oh, oh, poo! I mean, five minutes won't hurt them, and then, and then the nurse can put Teresa down for a long, a long nap. And then, then we can party down. Oh, you are such a <laughs> bad, bad boy. I'll do my best, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Let that happen. I won't. So, Mister, you are not leaving this room until I at least get some sort of tentative guest list from your side of the family. Well, I don't have to fill up the whole church, do I? By the time I'm finished, they're going to be hanging from the rafters. Plar, um, you really haven't said two words about this. Are you, uh? Are you okay with the ceremony? It doesn't upset you, does it? And I, I didn't say that. Do you do you think it's too soon? Uh, maybe maybe Pilar's right. I mean, I'm sure she's number one on both of our guest lists, but we should respect her wishes. Mr. Winthrop. Mrs. Crane did died just recently, so perhaps you should wait a year or so. <clears throat> Gertrude, um, remember what we just spoke about, about you uh, giving your opinion when it's, when it's not wanted? And besides, I've already taken Pilar's feelings into consideration. We're not going to have our own ceremony. We are actually going to join Kay and Miguel and Noah and Paloma's double wedding. Really? Yeah, I mean, the church was so, so overbooked anyway, it was impossible to find a date of our own, and both couples were very accommodating and totally didn't mind us joining in their special day and also making it special for us. So it's all said, and if it's not too soon for Teresa's brother and sister to get married, then it's certainly okay for us to renew our vows. It's great, it really, it works out perfect for everyone. It sounds, it sounds good, but I, I just want to hear it from Pilar, okay? I, I value her opinion more than anyone on the planet. So, if you're not okay with this, I really would like you to tell me. Just say the word and it's postponed. Don't 
it, Mama. Tell them that you are against it. Tell them that this is a bad idea. And people say Vincent and I are the crazy ones. drugs and now firearms. Sweet. I wonder, could this little miss be the one who really killed Alistair? Or even? Oh, could it be true? Could she be the one behind this whole string of murders? What do you think, sweetie? I know, I think so too. It's probably too soon to shout bravo, but I've got to hand it to her. She has brought a reign of terror over harmony that rivals mine. Come on. Please. Let's hear it. Sam? All right. Uh, no, I didn't have any idea that Vincent was alive. And in spite of the fact that... In spite of the fact that Sheridan says so, I still don't believe it. Uh, I uh, concur with that. And I don't know why you're, you're believing Sheridan so much. I mean, she's obviously... in. Hell again, she's imagining things. I mean, Lord knows when you think of Sheridan, you don't also think of stability. <laughs> well, Sheridan was... This is Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Sheridan was very sure of herself. Well, Luis, I mean, I had to treat Sheridan as a psychiatrist several times, and I can assure you Sheridan is prone to flights of fancy. She's cuckoo. We don't use cuckoo in the profession, but... Well, what I don't understand is, is how Vincent could still be alive. I don't know. <clears throat> but Sharon is my witness, and that's what she says. Louise, let's go question Sharon a little bit more in depth. Well, if she's up to it. why I ever moved to this town. I mean, even the dead pop out of nowhere to murder people. Um, have you guys seen Vicky? Because if Vincent's really walking around, I need to find her. No, we haven't seen her. <sighs> Vicky? Vicky Lambchop? What the hell are we going to do now? He's out of control. He's just completely out of control. I mean, our son took your sister and shoved her over Niagara Falls in a barrel? Well, at least he hasn't lost his initiative. Oh, Julian, it isn't funny. No, I'm not laughing. I don't think it's funny. It's just, do you think he's the one who killed Alistair? No. Oh, and, and by the way, Valerie is in the ER with the baby. But she's out in public. Well, she had your baby and... She wanted to get the birth registered, but she swore to me that neither she nor Vincent had anything to do with Alistair because they were too busy with Sheridan. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, it, it gets worse. How is that possible? Oh, God, well, all right, listen to this. When Valerie found out that Sheridan was unharmed, she was very upset. And that's because she knows Vincent wants to become... The new Sheridan Crane. What are you talking about? He wants to be my sister now as well? Well, don't look at me like that. I know it's insane. But he vowed, or she, I, oh, I get them so mixed up. They vowed to kill Sheridan no matter what it takes. That just uh, can't happen. What happened to his promise to no more killing? Well, I guess that just applied... To two of us being safe. That is some good news. John, I was certain that he was the one who killed Alistair. I mean, it would make sense because, you know, what Alistair had done to him. Well, Valerie says not. And if Valerie didn't do it and Vincent didn't do it, then... Then who did it? the hell is that man? No 
want to find harmony. I want to find Pilar. A lot of stuff in here. Well, spread it out and get to work. We have got to find something here that will help us find Pilar and her life in the United States. That will help us cause her as much pain as possible before she dies. Clara, I mean it. You haven't said one word about this whole renewal ceremony. If you think it's premature, please tell me. I mean, I wouldn't want to offend you for the whole world. Ethan, you know how much I love you. The only thing I have to say about your ceremony is congratulations. Really, congratulations. I, I hope that you'll be very happy. You know, now that my Teresa has gone, well, I guess it makes sense to start building a life with Gwen. And I, I, I hope that you have a, a, a strong family filled with love. That's, that's what I wish for you both. Wait, you're really happy about this? Yes. Very happy, actually. Ethan, you know Teresa would never stand in the way of your happiness. So, may God bless you both. Wow. Pilar, I never thought I'd hear those words coming out of your mouth. Thank you very much. You know, Pilar, I know we've had our problems together in the past, but I mean, to have your blessing, it really means a lot. Well, Gwen, I'm always in favor of strong relationships, and I, I think your marriage will last. And it'll be good for my grandchildren and for Jonathan. Pilar, thank you. Honestly, it's not what I expected to hear from you. Ethan, well, you know, life goes on, right? That it says gone, and, and now we have to think about the living. Well, I mean, this is, this is really just wonderful. So you need to sit down, mister, and work on your part of the guest list, and I'm going to help you, okay? How could you do this to me? How could you betray me like this? So, what did Sharon and say? Maybe she got knocked on the head in that barrel. That can make people say all sorts of nutty things. So, does she still think that uh, Vincent pushed her over Niagara Falls? Cool as a cucumber. Who knew such a little girl like that could have it in her? Okay, so now you've killed and hid in the body. Now it's time for you to get out of town. Carefully, sweetie, the killing is the easy part. It only gets tough when the deed is done. Let's see how our little mass murderer deals under pressure. Vicky? Oh, Vicky, you've got to be here somewhere. This isn't any better than before. There's a lot of stuff about Carmelita's family, but nothing about Pilar's family. There's got to be a clue in this mess somewhere. What is it? I found the key. To making Pilar suffer. Hi, Mama. Huh? Why did you turn on me like this? Did you not see what Ethan was doing? Because he was looking for a way to get out of this recommitment ceremony, and all you needed to do was just look sad, shake your head, and say, Ethan, please, for me, wait. That's all. And, you know, he would have put this off indefinitely, but now, because of you, my life is over. I already know that. 
But it's not because of this. Juanita called me on my cell phone. She's here. She's probably nearby now. And she's coming to kill us all. You know what? I definitely want to invite my old roommate, Bitsy Leland. Not Bitsy. Wait, wait, her last name is Leland now? Yeah. Last time I checked, I thought it was Robertson. Yeah, married, divorced, remarried. Oh. So how, how many divorces is that? Three or four now? Well, it's three, but who cares? She's fun, you know? Besides, maybe it'll, uh, be, it'll be good for her to see the same couple in church twice. Maybe it will help her stay a Leland. Maybe so. <sighs> that is really odd, don't you think? Hmm? But what? Pilar, it was very odd to see how happy she was for us. Ethan, I, I thought what she said was really sweet. It was, but... Come on, I'm, I'm not a fool here. I mean, the tension between you and Pilar since Teresa's death has been... so thick you can cut it with a knife, Gwen. So... Listen, maybe she just finally came around. It just seemed odd. I, I love her like a mother. When I would never do anything to hurt her. Ethan, she obviously supports us renewing our vows. You know, why are you dwelling on this? Are you looking for an out or something? No, no, it's nothing like that at all. Then what is it? Why do you even care what Pilar thinks? Wait, that's impossible. How did you talk to Juanita? How did she get your cell phone number? Because I called my friend Carmelita, and Juanita answered. She killed Carmelita, she killed my friend. And Juanita says, we're next. We went to question Sharon. Yes. Oh, what did she say? Nothing. She's sleeping and the doctor won't let us wake her for further questioning. Oh, gosh, isn't that too bad? Well, I mean, it's probably a lost cause anyway. I mean, I... I know my sister better than anyone, and she's always lived a dream world as long as I can remember. You have to remember, she was once in a padded cell. Sheridan is as sane as you or I. Well, I mean, Louise, you have to admit it's beyond belief to accuse a dead man of trying to kill you, I mean. This is harmony, Eve. People come back from the dead all the time. I've done it. Daz is Julian. Well, I, I, I think you're wasting your time waiting to... Talk to my scatterbrained sister when you should be out hunting for the real killer. I'll, I'll wager it's the same person who cut off little Julian. Vicky, where are you? A monster walks these halls. Get in there. I can't get caught with you. Vicky! Vicky! Where have you been? Nowhere. Oh, don't tell me you're breaking into hospital closets at your age. You're a girl after my own heart. But I learned at the age of ten that they keep all of the good stuff locked up at the nurse's station. I wish you'd stop taking all those pills, Aunt Esme. Now, what kind of comment is that? I worry about you. Oh, I worry about me too, honey, but... You know, it's not my fault that I have every mental illness known to man. You know, all of the um, prescriptions I take are prescribed by doctors. Yes, but what kind of doctors? I mean, some of those prescriptions get mailed to you straight from the federal penitentiary. Oh, yeah. Poor Dr. Singh. You know, he's considered a holy man in his country, but the small-minded medical community here is... Now, wait a minute. Back to the point. Where have you been? You know, we are in Hell's Hospital, okay? There are, there are killers on the loose. Now, I need to keep a uh, watch over you until we can get you off to boarding school. So, what have you been up to? Much, really okay well I hope you weren't bored anyway come on how interesting darling young Vicky is very talented I'll bet we can use some of those talents what do you think 
Sam, what's going on with you? I thought you were all for us renewing our vows. Oh, I am. Well, it doesn't really sound that way to me. You know, you're, you're running hot and cold here. It's like you change your mind all the time. I mean, if, if we're going to build a life together, I need to know that the man I'm going to build my life with is, is with me every step of the way. Okay, listen, don't, don't get upset. I, I love you, and I want to go through the recommitment ceremony. I really do. I just, I was just wondering why Paula changed her mind, that's all. I mean, we, we both know she wasn't dancing on air when we got back together, and then, boom, she was all smiles about it. Well, I think it's just that she's finally come around, I think. Listen, I think she realizes that Teresa's not coming back and that her grandchildren need a strong, stable family. I guess you're right. I know I'm right. And honestly, I don't care what Pilar thinks. I care what you think. Ethan, you, you, you need to let Teresa go. I mean, she's, she's gone. Gwen, I know she's gone. Well, sometimes I wonder. And listen, if you care so much about what Pilar thinks, she just said that she supports us spending our life together. So why can't we just start over, you know, with open arms and put all your doubts aside? Ethan, we need to put Teresa behind us. Wanting to kill Carmelita? Oh, no, the, the woman who owns the bookstore? Yes. I was using Carmelita's bookstore as an actress, you know, a billing actress for my cell phone, so, so that this number would not be traced to our home in Harmony. But somehow, Juanita traced the number to Carmelita, and she killed her. She drowned her. Oh, my God. No, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if Juanita's just lying to you? Okay, well, what if Carmelita's really lying and she's well, Mama? You know, better than that, you know what that woman is capable of? I told you, right, that she would track us down. And now she has. I, I mean, I don't know if she knows exactly where we are yet. But we've got to run. You, me, Paloma, Luis, Yella, the children. Oh, my God. Louis, Ethan, Jane, Maria, Marty, all of us. We have got to get out of harmony, Mija, before Juanita finds us and slits our throats. This is that man from Mexico. Yes. Pilar San Luis. Oh, here's my Vicky. I was so worried. For a moment there, I thought the worst had happened. Has everyone met my pride of joy? Joy and we made something beautiful together. Wait a second. Has anyone seen Ivy? That's strange. She seems like she just disappeared. Please don't go off the deep end here, Mama. There is. Please. Every nightmare that I've ever had for years and years is finally coming true. And the only way to save our lives is for every member of the Lopez Fitzgerald family to leave Harmony forever. Hiding before Juanita finds us and kills us. Mama, what kind of solution is that? You just want us all to just stay on the run forever? Really? Mama? What about the children? How will they get an education? Well, there won't be a need for an education, that is, if they're dead. Okay, you know what? I, I think you just need to relax for a second here and think about the authorities. Let them do their job, okay? This isn't Mexico, Juanita doesn't have half of the police on her payroll. Okay, the FBI, the DEA, they're looking out for us. They will find her and they will save us. They haven't caught her yet, have they? Teresa, that bookstore It's just miles down the coast. We have got to run or we will all die. It's strange, it's not like Ivy to leave without saying goodbye. Uh, y you don't think... Has anyone seen her? Not I. No. I hope nothing bad's happened to her. No. Oh, you have such a good heart. <laughs> that child is about as emotional as a rattlesnake. She'll go far. You know, the last time I saw Ivy, she was helping me find a boarding school for Vicky, but I don't know where she went from there. Hmm. Ivy! Ivy! Ivy? What's that? The blood? Oh. 
Oh, no. This is a hospital. Blood gets spilled all the time. It's stuck. Ivy. Ivy, are you in there? We're going to get more champagne. Yeah, don't go anywhere. We're going to toast the vow renewal again. There go. Let's go. Let's go get the children. You'll sign a letter of resignation. Are you crazy? First of all, don't think that Gertrude has just kidnapped the children. Second, I'm not going to do this. You have to, for all our sakes, every minute that we waste, we allow Juanita to get closer and closer. Then let's call the police. No. You will do as I say, because I will do whatever it takes to protect this family. Luis, that overbearing young man. He was a thorn in my side in Mexico. Remember me telling you about him? How could I forget? It's a pity he wasn't eaten by sharks the way his sister was. <laughs> Pilar's children. I am going to kill them. One... I won in front of her. <laughs> stuck. It's like something is stuck in it. Oh. Oh my God, Ivy. Ivy. <gasps> you are one cool customer, kid. The killer struck again. Eve, help her. She's gonna be okay. You're all right. Is she? Eve, is she gonna be all right? Eve. Eve, is she gonna be all right? Eve, answer me. Is she going to be all right? No. No. My God, no. No. She can't be dead. I've solved the mystery. With this, I can find Pilar's lair. You're dead, Pilar. After all these years, <laughs> you're dead. You can talk to us, Mom, until you're blue in the face, but it is not going to work. Luis and Miguel will not go on the run, and Paloma, she's a cop now. She's probably not going to run either. Well, then I'll have to trick them into running, won't I? This is it, Teresa. We have got to run before Juanita finds us and kills us all. Just walk away from Ethan. Yes. Forever. Forget it, Mama. Without him, I don't care if I live. What about the children? Here we are. I would like to propose a toast to my upcoming marriage with Gwen and to a very happy life for all of us. <sighs> 